Hello students, this is Nitin Mahur and through this video, I am going to make your introduction with the course of BSc 1, Semester 1 Electronics. We will start from the syllabus and in syllabus, while seeing the syllabus structure, I want to tell you that for Semester 1, we will have one paper of electronics having its name as basics of electronics which consists of total six units the units are identified as individual topics for example unit one is of passive components and network theorems unit two is measuring instruments unit three is semiconductor diode and regulated power supply unit 4 will be bipolar transistor unit 5 will be switching and optoelectronic devices and the last unit that is unit number 6 will comprise of integrated circuits naturally there will be subtopics in every unit and these all units will make your paper of basics of electronics all the basic things one should know while studying the electronics will be covered in all these six units so far the exam pattern and marks distribution is concerned at the end of semester university conducts theory exam and for this theory exam the weightage of 80 marks is given Internal assignments wherein the concerned teacher provides you the questions which you will have to write at your home in an, in an assignment book and submit it to the department. On submission of it, you get 8 marks. College test is conducted prior to university theory exam. And college test is basically conducted for 30 marks, but the university gives equivalent 12 marks for it. How the 12 marks are given by the university or how the 12 marks are distributed by the university is as follows. Test marks of the college which you will obtain out of 30 and for the particular range, the university allots how much marks out of 12 that we have shown in this table. If you score 0 to 10 in a college test of 30 marks, you will get no marks as per the university equivalence. So therefore, out of 12, you will get only 0 for 0 to 10. Out of 30, if you score between 11 to 17, inclusive of 11 and 17, you can get 7 marks out of 12. If you score from 18 to 23, you will get 10 out of 12 marks. And if you score from 24 to 30, you will get 12 out of 12 marks as per the university norms. Practical exam will also be conducted by the department itself and this is the university practical exam which will be conducted for 50 marks wherein you will have to perform one individual experiment and you will have to face the viva hose which will be conducted by the external examiner in short these marks 80 plus 8 plus 12 that is 100 plus practical marks 50 makes it total 150 marks means the semester one electronics is having the weightage of 150 marks in university examination now moving on to what basically the electronics is so electronics is the word which is derived from electron mechanics now what is electron mechanics so it's a study of the behavior of an electron 
under different conditions of applied electric field. So far, the basic components of electronic circuits, we will see some of the basic components. Why I am showing these components? Because in 11th and 12th, you must have gone through these components in physics also. Because physics is the father of electronics, most of the things which are occurring in physics, actually therefrom the electronics has come to an existence. So here I am showing you the components, basic components which are used in electronics like transistor, diode, LED that is light emitting diode, photodiode and integrated circuits. These are actually the components looks like and these are the symbolic representations for them. Similarly here on this side resistor, LDR that is light dependent resistor, thermistor, capacitor and inductor. Again this is, these are actually the component diagrams how actually the component looks like while these are the symbolic representations of them. I have shown them in two different columns for differentiating them as active components and passive components. Definitely in due course of syllabus we are going to see what are active components, passive components and we are going to study each and every one of the components we have shown here. What these components do basically? They control the flow of electrons through it. They control the flow of electrons means they control the flow of current actually. When these components are placed together and connected in a proper way, they make the big electronic circuit and that's why they are called the important blocks of electronic circuits. So as an example, I can show you this diagram where you can see the green board in the background which is called actually the PCB and here you can see number of active and passive components togetherly placed and interconnected properly to get the required output from a circuit. So this is how the components works in a circuit and gives you the required output. Now many of the students are having question in mind that they were not having electronics background. They were having no electronic subject in 11th and 12th. Okay. But remember you were having so physics as one of the subject, mathematics as one of the subject and both these subjects are definitely going to help you out in understanding electronics in the nicest possible way. What you are expected to know minimum, concept of electrons and its motion through the circuit, that is the flow of current you can say, difference between conductor and insulator, current, voltage, resistance and their relation as a Ohm's law, that is V is equal to I into R and this voltage is more measured in volts. And basic units of entities or parameters like current, voltage, resistance, capacitance, inductance, frequency, etc. And all these things you have already studied in physics. So you do not require to worry about. And basic mathematical conversions. These are very simple for you because mathematics was one of your major subject in 11th and 12th class. So far the books to be referred for semester 1 electronics, I am giving you some of the books as Basic Electronics by B. L. Raja by S. Chand and Company, Textbook of Electrical Technology Volume 1 by B. L. Raja, Electrical and Electronics Measurement and Instrumentation by A. K. Saone and Digital and Analog Techniques by Naunit. Kale and Gokhale. I have mentioned here four books which are also prescribed by the Amravati University. Definitely you need not require to go thoroughly through this book but some topic you will get in this book, some topics you will get in this book, some topics you will get here and some topics you will get here. 
so i hope the idea of the syllabus structure the idea of exam pattern idea about what you are expected to know idea about the basics of the electronics and basic components and how they are converted into circuit is clear to you and naturally i must have worked or i must have brought your fear level down through this video so in due course we will go through the syllabus we will start from basics and we will move on to learn electronics thank you